Okay, so uh, the observer tool. The thing with the observer is to recognize the basis of it is to uh, recognize objects. If you recognize an object, then it is being the observer of the object. And I always start, uh, I'll try and choose something different <coughs> another time, but I'm just familiar with using this. This is a mug. Notice that this is an object. <coughs> now, if you are observing an object, like everyone here observing this object, is anybody this mug? No. So, it's very clear that this is an object. This has got a shape. Yeah, can everyone see the shape of this? So the observer of the shape is not the shape. Is that clear? So if, you can, if there is an object which has limits, it's a limited object, it's being observed. Even if this object is coming and going, it's being, uh, it's being observed. Yeah? I'll just close the door while I do this. Uh, and um, okay, so an object which is limited, the observer of a limited object cannot be the limited object. Okay, even if this limited object passes before you, the observer of a passing object is still not the passing object. Yeah, even if I hide this object suddenly, uh, you're still not the object. Okay, so the next thing is thoughts. Okay, so thoughts are coming and going. Sometimes there might be a moment when there's not even a thought, or sometimes there can be lots of thoughts, but they're passing, aren't they? They're discrete objects which pass. So something is observing, because thoughts are not infinite. They're passing limitations. So just like if clouds were passing in the sky, or even if hundreds of clouds were passing in the sky, that which is observing the passing clouds is not the clouds. Yep. So thoughts. Thoughts are passing by. So are you, are you thoughts or is there something observing thoughts? So it's to get the experience of observe, you know. So just nod your head. Is there an experience of the observer of thoughts? Yeah, okay. So this is like a, this is a miraculous uh, spiritual experience. That even if thoughts pass by, the observer is not thoughts. Yeah. Now let's say suddenly um, if one has an image, you know, like an image of uh, one's mother, for example. Is that which observes the image is that, which, is that which is observing an image come and go, is that an image? No. no, good. So the observer is not a thought, because thoughts are coming and going before the observer. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not an image, because images are passing by in front of the observer. Now, another one is feelings. If a feeling Suddenly, suddenly, let's say there's a feeling of fear, suddenly arises. If a feeling of fear suddenly arises, is that, is, is, is one the fear, or is one that which observes the fear? Is the observer of fear, fear? No. No, no, okay. So feelings may come and go, they may start to come up, there might be no fear, and then suddenly fear is witness to come, and then fear is witness to go. But the witnesser, of feelings is not a feeling, because feelings are coming and going all the time. The, the witnesser of thoughts is not thoughts, the witnesser of images is not images. Another one is interesting is like location. Like, is there a sense, or there's two things, location and body. Like, that if one has an awareness of one's body, oh, okay, I can feel this body, that which is observing the body, because remember, a body, if there's awareness of a body, it has a shape. And that which observes the shape, is that, has that got a shape? No. No. So the observer is not a shape, it's not the body, it's not thought, it's not feelings that come and go. 
What about time? Something experiences time passing. Something is like aware of, oh, like a second has passed or, or ten seconds has passed. But then if there is a tracking or there's an awareness of time, there is something observing a sense of time. So that which observes time, something is before awareness of time, which observes it. Is that, in that place which observes time, does time exist? No. No. <clears throat> okay. So, now these are all experiences. These are not intellectual questions. So, because the thought is being observed. So it's not thought. It's not time, it's not anything that's, it's not any feeling that's coming and going. So, now as you get to this place, you, you just, you, you're always checking to see if that which you are, after you've gone to the observer of thoughts, feelings, images, time, the observer of the body, does the sense of experience here have any limits or contractions? If there is, it's okay. Even if there's a if there's a limit or a, a contraction or if it's expansive, like let's say it's this big, but it, that's fine. If you let everything go and it's this big, but then something is observing this big, then you go to the well. What's observing even big? And then so you keep going, and then eventually you're in the observer. If the observer has any kind of limited, any kind of contracted, any kind of shape in it then just be that which is observing. And eventually you'll get to the observing where there is no thought, there is no time, there is no body. Um, things can pass, th pass before it, mm. but it is, not, it is not limited or contracted in any way. So when this is experienced, it's like everything has been dropped. It's like habitually, when one, is not, when one is not in the observer, one is feeling like, I am the body, I am my thinking, oh, I am this picture that's just come into my mind, you know. So it's very, very heavy. But in this place, it's totally free. So 